hi to you watching this video so in this video we're going to discuss about fundamentals of surveying so this is a course offered in st louis university baguio city philippines uh, for the degree of bachelor of science in civil engineering okay so before i discuss to you the different modules particularly module one in this video um let me show you the entirety of this course brief Okay, so brief introduction first. So this is CE2121 for the course uh, number. So for the course learning outcomes, at the end of the module, you should be able to, number one, apply the basic concepts, principles, and theories on distance and angular measurements as well as area computation. Number two, Solve for distances, elevations, and area from a provided set of survey data. Number three, apply the basic surveying concepts, principles, and theories on determining horizontal and vertical distances using Stadia. Number four, compute for the missing data from incomplete traverse data. Number five, acquire a working knowledge in design and layout of horizontal or vertical curves in highway or railway. And number six, determine and use the appropriate methodology in calculating earthworks in various civil engineering constructions. Okay, according to Henry Petrosky, failure is central to engineering. Every single calculation that engineer makes is a failure calculation. Successful engineering is all about understanding how things break or fail. So why is it central and why is it that every single calculation that engineer makes is a failure calculation? Because um, en uh, engineering is not, a, uh, is not a course or it is not a science that was already made. So it was out of experiments. It was out of... Uh, practices okay so we need to understand how things fail in order for us to determine how can we avoid this failure in order for us how to correct this uh, errors in order for us to eliminate the errors okay so kailangan natin siyang intindihin para alam natin kung paano siya iiwasan okay so, it is central to engineering because uh, failure is our uh, silver lining in order for us to correctly design, correctly assess uh, engineering works. Okay. So, in this course, you will learn about the concepts and principles of fundamentals of surveying as a sub-discipline of civil engineering. This course deals with measurement of distance and distance correction, the use of surveying instruments, area computation, balancing the traverse, elevation determination, and leveling, stadia surveying, topographic surveying, triangulation and trilateration, missing data, irregular boundaries, and global positioning system. Okay, so as a result of your educational experiences in the course CE2121, you should be able to Understand the basic concepts and principles of surveying, introducing uh, different theories, fundamentals, and using appropriate equations as an actual solutions to applied surveying problems. Understand important topics and information under elementary surveying such as measurement of horizontal and vertical distances, measurement of angles and directions, and traverse analysis including area computations. Solving problems under highway surveying topics such as tachyometry, omitted measurement, computation, topographic survey, control survey, and introduction to hydrographic surveying. Understand the important concepts on route or engineering surveys as preparation to highway in railroad engineering. And master all generated topics in fundamental surveying. Okay, so all in all, there are 14 modules for this subject and the first module is introduction to surveying so module one 
aims to give you an overview of the course, particularly its specific definition in regards to its wide application in the world of civil engineering. The different structures and or system wherein surveying principle is applied as it main as its main analysis. Okay. So for this video, we are going to discuss particularly module number one. Okay. So you also have here uh, for batch two, a uh, batch three rather, you also have here our schedule. So kindly check this during your vacant time. But don't worry, uh, I'll be giving uh, an updated um, schedule for our set of activities. Okay, so for module number one, Introduction to Surveying. So this module will explain the basic concepts and principles of surveying, sources of survey information, kinds of surveys, and proper use in care of instruments. So pre-assessment, so engage part. Recall your knowledge on engineering physics by answering the following questions. Which is part of the surveying measurements topic in this module? So how many significant figures are present in the following? So kindly answer that on your own. And check whether you are correct or incorrect. Okay, so what is surveying? Surveying is the art of determining the positions of points on or near the Earth's surface by means of measurement in its three uh, elements, space of space, namely distance, direction, and elevation. So it is the art of determining position. Okay, So specifically, we have the distance, the direction, and its elevation. Next, surveying is the art of measuring horizontal and vertical distances between objects. So if there are two objects, we can determine the horizontal and the vertical distance or the difference between those two objects. Of angles between lines, of uh, determining the direction of lines, and of establishing points by predetermined angular and linear measurement so with the help of surveying we can identify the location the exact location of a certain object with respect to a reference point okay so surveying also is the art of making such measurement of relative position of points on surface of the earth that on drawing them to scale natural and artificial features may be exhibited in their correct horizontal and vertical relationship so with the help of surveying, we can draw our uh, we can draw our surrounding. Like for example, we have uh, structures, we have natural and artificial uh, objects. We can redraw or we can put them into a two dimensional with the help of surveying. Of course, with uh, exact measurement with the help of scale models or scaling. We are going to scale it. Okay, so in such a way that if we are going to, uh, to view it in a two dimension, we can understand, we can interpret, and we can locate these positions. So surveying is that branch of applied math math mathematics which teaches the art of determining area of any portion of the Earth's surface. The length and direction of the boundary lines, the contour of the surface, and of accurately delineating the whole on paper. So with the help of uh, surveying, we can determine uh, the, the area of a certain, um, of a certain, for example, land, or uh, we can determine the direction, the distance of a certain object, okay? Surveying is the science or art of making such measurements as necessary to determine the relative position of points above, on, or beneath the surface of the earth. 
or to establish points. Okay, so it is uh, the art and the science of making measurements. So we can take measurements or determine the location of an object within, above, or beneath the Earth's surface. And surveying is the science and art of determining relative positions above, on, or beneath the Earth's surface or establishing such points. Okay, so those are the definition of surveying. So what are the types or gen general classification of a plane surveying? Plane surveying is the type of surveying in which the Earth is considered to be a flat surface. So, uh, and where the distances and areas involved are of limited extent that the exact shape of the Earth is disregarded. So here, so for plane surveying, we are only considering a limited extent. Okay, we are not considering a distance which is too long or which is too far from uh, both objects. Okay, what we are considering in plane surveying is a distance or an area which is just uh, which is which is just small. Okay, but we all know that the Earth is not a plane surface we know that the earth is nearly spherical. So for geodetic surveys or surveying, these are surveys of wide extent which take into account the sphere, uh, spheroidal shape of the earth. Okay, This is science. This is fact. The shape of the earth is nearly spherical. The, uh, these surveys employ principles of geodesy, are of high precision and related calculation involve the solving spherical trigonometry, calculus, and some applications of the theory of the least squares. Okay, so for geodetic surveying, we are going to consider the shape of the earth, which is nearly spherical, and we are now considering uh, distances which are of great extent. So, malala yung distances na kinoconsider natin. So, what are the types of surveys? So, number one, we have cadastral surveys. So, these are usually closed surveys which are taken, undertaken in urban and rural locations for the purpose of determining and defining property lines and boundaries, corners, and areas. These surveys are also made to fix the boundaries of municipalities, towns, and provincial jurisdiction. So, cadastral surveys are uh, closed surveys. So, by the way, we have here plain surveying where we do not consider the shape of the earth and we are just considering a short distance. Wherein, for the geodetic uh, surveying, we are considering the, uh, the distance of uh, no, we are considering the shape of the earth which is not a flat surface and we are now considering far distances okay going back to the type of survey we have here cadastral survey so for cadastral survey we do define the boundaries of the lot we do define the boundaries for example of a municipality of a city or etc so if you will be uh uh, you are to define the boundaries of a certain lot, then it can be defined as cadastral survey. Next, we have CP surveys. So these are surveys of areas in and near a city for the purpose of planning expansions or improvements, locating property lines, fixing reference monuments, determining the physical features and configuration of the land in preparing maps. So this is a CP, an example of a CP survey. So you define your um, your la, uh, your line, your points. For example, there will be an expansion of certain malls. Yeah. So that is considered a CP survey. Number three, construction surveys. So these are surveys which are undertaken at a construction site to provide data regarding grades, reference lines, dimensions, grounds, configurations, and the location and elevation of structures which are 
of concern to engineers, architects, and builders. So, surveying, construction surveys, plays a crucial role in uh, construction because they, um, they outline where the points or the location of our footing should be placed, our beams, grade beams should be placed. They do the alignment of the column, the alignment of uh, the everything, actually everything. They are very important in the alignment of every member of the building. Like for example, you have the beam, you have the column, it should be, the beam should be horizontal, the column should be vertical, likewise with the slab, it should be horizontal as well. So in the laying out of the partitions, they play in the crucial uh, part of laying out the partitions because they define the exact location where your partition should be laid out. Okay, Like for example, the CHB. So they will do the uh, defining of the location of your partition specifically like for example chb wall okay so we have here by the way yeah survey so the alignment of the column it should be perfectly vertical or 90 degrees with respect to the horizontal so that is a job of the surveyor okay so the location of uh, as well, the location of your column, the location of your beam, and uh, everything, the perfect location should be specified by your surveyor. So they play a crucial role. Number four, forestry surveys. A type of survey executed in connection with forest management and mensuration and the production and conservation of forest lands so for for that it is not just counting trees okay it is defining the location of those trees okay so hindi lang kasi bibilangin we're just we're not just going to count the number of trees we're going to count the number of trees and specify the location of those trees okay and uh, um, for your topo map, topographic maps or topo maps, their elevation is also uh, included. Okay, for some they include the elevation, so as to maintain uh, to monitor the trees. Uh, specifically, this is for uh, conservation of the environment. Okay, hydrographic surveys. So this refers to surveying streams, lakes, reservoir, reservoirs, harbors, or oceans, and other bodies of water. These surveys are made to map shorelines, chart the shape of areas underlying the water surfaces, the measure of flow of streams. They are general importance in connection with navigation, development of water supply and resources, flood control, irrigation, production of hydroelectric power, sub, uh, sub aqueous constructions, and recreation. So for hydrographic surveys, this is also crucial in everything related to um, human activity in water. So this is an example of hydrographic surveys. So you map, you map, uh, we map the uh, uh, waterbed okay so we map the look uh, this specifically this no the location if there would be a uh, for example when we mm, the depth of the waterbed from this uh, from the sea level because for example you have a like for example for the internet the internet, uh, the line for internet, internet services like what we have recently experienced from PLDT and other uh, internet provider, they had a main maintenance. Okay, so those cables are lying on 
the water. So that it is also important for them to have a hydrographic survey so that they can minimize the cost. They can minimize also the, uh, uh, they can also know the environmental condition on where they will be placing their um, cables, okay, on the water. And of course, for maintenance purposes. Next, industrial surveys. So sometimes known as optical tooling, it refers to the use of surveying techniques in shipbuilding, construction and assembly of aircraft, layout and installation of heavy complex machinery in other industries where very accurate dimensional layouts are required. So uh, as said in the definition, shipbuilding, construction and assembly of aircraft, layout and installation of heavy and complex machinery and other industries were accurate, take note, very accurate dimensional layouts are required. Next, we have the mine surveys. So mine surveys are surveys which are performed to determine the position of all underground excavations and surface mine structures to fix surface boundaries of mining claims determine geological formations to calculate uh, excavated volumes and establish lines and grades for other related mining works. When we say mining, we do not just say, ah, punta tayo sa underground, pagbubutas tayo ng lupa. We're just going to excavate or explode. No, that is not the case. So, uh, we do mine surveys in order for us to determine the points on which we are going to excavate up to what extent and also that is for the safety of the miners. Okay? So, kasi kung gagawin lang natin, we're just going to uh, excavate or explode, then up to what extent? At, uh, up to what extent and gano'ng kalaki yung bubutasan? Okay? Hindi pwedeng ganon. Kasi first and foremost, the safety of your workers would be would be at stake. Okay? And, uh, kinakalculate yan yung volume, yung points, kung saan, uh, yung, uh, saan yung i-excavate, and the grades that are, uh, that would be in consideration. Okay? And, of course, nandyan din yung geolog uh, geological formation. Hindi pwedeng basta-basta, ah, okay, dito tayo magbubutas. Ah, doon ko gusto. Ah, dito ko gusto. No, that should not be the case. That's why mine surveys are of great importance. So, yan. Yung mga yan, yan, yung mga tunnels underground, sinusurvey yan. Tunnels underground are being surveyed. Okay? Photogrammetric surveys. So, photogrammetric surveys, a type of survey which makes use of photographs taken with specially designed cameras either from airplanes or ground stations. Measurements are obtained from the photographs which are used in conjunction with limited ground surveys. So, if the, uh, if the environment or the condition of the surface is... Uh, limited in such a way that it cannot be surveyed on the land, what we use is photogrammetric surveying, wherein you have a special type of camera that will be uh, taking pictures, and these pictures would be used for, uh, per se, for the surveying. Okay, so yung mga picture na nakukuha ng special camera natin would now be used for the survey. So you have here your airplanes and it carries a specific type of camera okay and those the pictures that will, will be gathered will now be used to uh, will now be used as or for the survey number nine route surveys it involves the determination of alignment grades earthwork quantities location of natural and artificial objects in connection with the planning, design, and construction of highways, railroads, pipelines, canals, transmission lines, and other linear 
projects. Plot surveys are very important. Why? Because we cannot just lay out, ah, ito yung magiging kalsada. This is where I want my road to be located. That would not be the case. If you're going to see, there are oh, actually other memes that are spreading through Facebook. Bakit daw hindi na lang diretsyo yung kalsada? Bakit daw hindi na lang uh, hinaikli? Okay? First, we need to consider the, uh, the terrain. Okay? He, minsan, yung terrain ng ating uh, location where we want to lay out our uh, our roads is not feasible. Okay? Unang-una, maraming block, blockage. Pangalawa, yung elevation. That should also be considered. So, in laying out route, we are considering the elevation. We are considering the uh, uh, kung saan mas makakatipid pag nilay out natin. And and we also need to consider the safety. Baka kasi yung pag-layoutan natin ng ating kalsada is not that safe. It is prone to erosion. Okay? So, that's why route surveys are very important. Okay? So, it involves the planning and yung design ng kalsada and the construction of the highways. Okay? So, sa route surveying, makikita natin kung saan natin pwedeng i-layout yung ating kalsada, kung paan natin siya i-layout, and kung paano gagawin yung construction that involves the planning, designing, and construction. Okay? Sa route surveys. Hindi kasi pwedeng, ah, gusto ko dito, ah, gusto ko dito. That would not be the case. We also need to take in con consideration the safety, the feasibility, and the econo economic part of the route. Okay? Kung saan tayo makakatipid, of course. Factor yun. Number 10, topographic surveys. Are those surveys made for determining the shape of the grounds, the location, and elevation of natural and artificial features upon it? The features shown include such natural objects as hills, mountains, rivers, lakes, reliefs of the ground surface, and etc. And works of man such as roads, buildings, parks, towns, municipalities, and bridges. In short, a topographic map should contain everything that is visible on that certain area. Okay? So what is a topographic map or what we call the topo map? Okay? So a topo map is a top view of a certain area. So for example, we have here the very, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. For example, a certain area na lang sabihin natin. We have here a certain area. Here, nandito yung mga bundok. Uh, ito, bundok. This is elevation. Okay? Naka-elevate siya. Pinapakita sa atin in a two-dimensional view. In a top view. Okay? So, nandyan yung mga puno. Yan. I am not sure if that is puno, but we assume it since there is no legend present. So, lahat ng makikita mo sa top view, nandyan in, in such a way that it is scaled. Naka-scale yan. Okay? So, from the land, i-measure mo kung nasa land ka, i-measure mo yung location, yung distance, yung elevation ng certain objects. And yun, ita-transfer mo sa uh, map. Ita-transfer mo sa isang, uh, sabi natin, sa isang uh, size ng copon band paper or ng band paper. For example, A3, you're going to transfer that into an A3, which is scaled. Okay? Para pag binasa yan, Alam natin na, ah, okay, andito tayo, ito yung location, andito yung location ng object na to, ito yung elevation ng object na to. Nai-imagine natin, alam natin kung ano yung itsura, saan nakalocate, and ano yung elevation niya. Okay? So, from a, from the actual, i-convert natin into two-dimensional. And it is scaled. Okay? When we say scaled, Naka-measure yan with respect to the actual dimension. Okay? So, that is a topographic map. 
So, if pagbabasahin mo yan, I repeat, kung for example, nandito ako, ah, okay, ito yung, ah, uh, ito yung river, ito yung lake, yan. Alam mo kung nasaan yung location. Next would be the surveying instruments. Okay? So, surveying instruments, this is the instruments that we use in conducting our survey. So, telescope. The invention of the telescope in 1607 is generally accredited to Le Perche. In 1609, Galileo constructed a refracting telescope for astronomical observation. So, this is a telescope. Of course, all of us know what a telescope looks like. Yeah. So, yung, uh, what Gil Galileo did or constructed was a refract refracting telescope. So, used for astronomical observation. However, it was only when the crosshairs were fixing the line of sight were introduced, then that's the time telescope was used in early surveying instruments. When we say air here, uh, we have telescope with hair. Let's see kung may ipapakita dito. When we say air, uh, yung lens natin, ay, ayan, for example, ito. If you are going to see sa eyepiece, okay, if you're going to see sa eyepiece natin, yung, ayan, ito, you can consider this an air. Tapos, meron din tayong specific lines here. Okay? Those are airs. Okay? Yun yung air na tinatawag. Next, transit. The intervention of transit is accredited to Young and Dropper who worked independently from each other sometime in 1830. So, this is a transit. Okay, yeah, that is a transit. Engineer's transit. But of course, this is already quite modern. So, this is what you call the transit. Number three, you have the plane table used in field mapping. So, ginagamit siya sa pag-map sa field. It consists of board attached to a tripod in such a way that it can be leveled or located in any directed direction, desired direction. So, this is yung plane. Okay? A plane table. And naka-mount siya sa tripod. So, this is our tripod. Okay. Yeah. Another example would be this. Okay. And it can be rotated. So it is used for mapping. Next, we have the vernier, a short auxiliary scale placed alongside the graduated scale of an instrument, by means of which refraction parts of the smallest or least division of the main scale can be determined precisely without having to interpolate. It was invented in 1631 by a Frenchman named Pierre Vernier. Vernier. Okay? Surveying instrument uh, employing either a direct or retrograde vernier. So this, of course, you should know this uh, in your physics. Hopefully, you were able to draw this from your lab subjects. Okay? So this is a vernier caliper. And compass, the magnetic compass came in wide use during the 13th century for determining the direction of lines and calculating the angles between. It was first introduced in navigation. So the compass consists of magnetized steel needle mounted on the pivot at the center of graduated circuit. The needle continues to point toward the magnetic north. Okay? Lagi siyang naka-point toward the magnetic north. And from there, after reading, we can now determine our location. Okay? So, 
it gives a reading which dependent upon the position of the graduated circle. Okay, so surveying measurements. Direct measurement, distances are actually measured on the surface of the earth using a chain or tape measurement or ranging. So we use here our tape measures. That is for direct measurement. For indirect measurement, this is now where our tools come in. So observations are taken through a telescope and a distance are determined by calculation as a tachometer or triangulation. So th this is now where our uh, mathematics comes in, okay, and trigonometry. So electronic methods, distances, and are measured with instruments that rely on propagation, reflection, and subsequent uh, reception of either radio or light waves. Okay, so this uh, in the indirect measurement, we now use uh, gadgets or um, equipments to determine or to measure distances. Okay, angular units of measurement. So we have two. So, sexagesimal units. Units of angular measurement are the degree, minute, and second. The unit of angle used in surveying is the degree, which is defined as 1 over 360th of a circle. So, we know that the interior angle of a circle is 360 degrees. And in rad, or in centesimal units, that is equivalent to 2 pi. Okay, so going back to sexagesimal, 1 over 360th of a circle. So 1 degree is equivalent to 60 minutes. And 1 minute is equivalent to 60 seconds. Next would be the centesimal units. Many countries in Europe and the Middle East use the centesimal system where grad is the angular unit. So the grad is divided into 100 centesimal minutes or 0 0.9 degrees. And the minute is subdivided into 100 centesimal seconds or 0 degree, 00, zero minute, and 32.4 seconds. So it is in uh, decimal. Okay. Next would be the concepts of mistakes, errors, accuracy, and precision. Mistakes are inaccuracies in measurements which occur because some aspect of a surveying operation is performed by a surveyor with carelessness, inattention, poor judgment, and improper execution. Mistakes are also caused by misunderstanding of the problem, inexperience, or indifference of the surveyor. So a large mistake is referred to as blunter. Okay, I repeat, a large mistake is referred to as blunter. So meaning, mistakes is human factor. Okay, it is a human factor. Next would be errors. An error is defined as the, this, as the difference between the true value and a measured value of a quantity. It is a deviation of an observation or a calculation from the true value and is often beyond the control of the of the one performing the operation. So an error is defined between the difference between an observed value or a measured value versus a true value. So the difference would be uh, the difference between those two values is what we call the error, okay, or the deviation from the two true value of the observed value or measured value okay so what are the types of errors so first we have the systematic errors this type of error is one which always have the same sign and magnitude as long as failed conditions remain constant and unchanged for changing failed conditions there is a corresponding change in magnitude of error however the sign remains constant a systematic error will repeat itself in other measurements, still maintaining the same sign and thus will accumulate. It is for this reason that this type of error is also called a cumulative error. Okay? So for example, I have here a measuring tape or a 50 meter 
measuring tape and it has an error of plus one centimeter. So in reality, it is 50 meter point, 50 point one meter. Okay. So if I am going to use that, uh, that measuring tape for four times, then I'll be having also an error times four. So I'll be having four, the same error of additional one centimeter each. Therefore, that is a cumulative error. Okay. Next would be accidental errors. These errors are purely accidental in character. The occurrence of such errors are matters of chances, chance as they are likely to be positive or negative and may tend in part to compensate or average out according to loss of probability. There is no absolute way of determining or eliminating them since the error for an observation of a quantity is not likely to be the same for a second observation. So that would not be the case for, um, for the first example. So because we do not have any error for the measuring tape, it's just so happened that uh, there were error during my first uh, measuring, first uh, laying out of the first 50, laying out of the second 50, laying out of the third 50 meter, and laying out of the fourth 50 meter. Okay, so that is accidental errors. So, uh, but there will might be a case that when I laid out my first to the third fifty meter, there were no error. Okay, because I, uh, as we have said, it is an accidental error. Okay, next would be accuracy. Accuracy indicates how close a given measurement is to the absolute or true value of the quantity measured. It implies the closeness between the related measurement and their expectations. The difference between the measured value of a quantity and its actual value represents the total error in the measurement. As the measured value approaches, the actual value, the magnitude of the error, becomes smaller and smaller. And as the magnitude of the total error is decreased, the accuracy of the measurement increases. Therefore, a measurement is termed less accurate if it deviates by a significant amount from the expected value. Kung expected value mo is 1, then your uh, observed value is 0 0.5, then that is less accurate. If it is uh, 1, that is accurate. If it is... Uh, if it is 1.1 versus 0 0.5, 1.1 is more accurate because it is nearer our exact value, which is 1. Okay? Next, uh, but in reality, when we say by definition, uh, ayan, the degree of conformity and correctness of something when compared to a true value or absolute, value. So when we say that it is accurate, it is already exact. By definition, the meaning of accurate is exact. Okay, some will say that more accurate and less accurate are error. Thus, should not or redundant, they should not be used. But if we are having a degree of comparison of two values, then therefore, we, can, we are not violating any um, grammatical rules or laws. Therefore, it is still correct to say that it is less accurate or more accurate or a value is less accurate or more accurate because there is a degree of comparison. Okay? And for ac uh, accuracy, eh, okay, before that, let's go with precision first. Precision refers to the degree of refinement and consistency with which any phys physical measurement is made. It is portrayed by the closeness to one another of set of repeated measurements of quantity. So, for example, here you have you are going to observe a distance on a survey uh, on a field survey. You are going to cite a distance and you are going to repeat it five times. Now, yung five times na yon, those values are close to each other. Therefore, 
you, we can say that it is precise because you do not have a true value for that. It is a cluster of value. Okay? And it gets you, ba? So there are five. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. So these five are your set of examples. Here we have 5.1, 5.11, 5.1, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 5.21, 5.22, 5.23, 5.24, 5.25, 5.26, 5.27, 5.28, 5.29, 5.30, 5.31, 5.32, 5.33, 5.34, 5.35, 5.36, 5.37, 5.38, 5.39, 5.40, 5.41, 5.42, 5.43, 5.44, 5.45, 5.46, 5.47, 5.48, 5.49, 5.50, 5.51, 5.52, 5.53, 5.54, 5.55, 5.56, 5.57, 5.58, 5.59, 5.60, 5.61, 5.62, 5.63, 5.64, 5.65, 5.66, 5.67, 5.68, 5.69, 5.70, 5.71, 5.72, 5.73, 5.74, 5.75, 5.76, 5.77, 5.78, 5.79, 5.80, 5.81, 5.82, 5.83, 5.84, 5.85, 5.86, 5.87, 5.88, 5.89, 5.90, 5.91, 5.92, 5.93, 5.94, 5.95, 5.96, 5.97, 5.98, 5.99, 5.100, 5.101, 5.102, 5.103, 5.104, 5.105, 5.106, 5.107, 5.108, 5.109, 5.110, 5.111, 5.112, 5.113, 5.114, 5.115, 5.116, 5.117, 5.118, 5.119, 5.120, 5.121, 5.122, 5.123, 5.124, 5.125, 5.126, 5.127, 5.128, 5.129, 5.130, 5.131, 5.132, 5.133, 5.134, 5.135, 5.136, 5.137, 5.138, 5.139, 5.140, 5.141, 5.142, 5.143, 5.144, 5.145, 5.146, 5.147, 5.148, 5.149, 5.150, 5.151, 5.152, 5.153, 5.154, 5.155, 5.156, 5.157, 5.158, 5.159, 5.160, 5.170, 5.171, 5.172, 5.173, 5.174, 5.175, 5.175, 5.176, 5.177, 5.178, 5.178, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 5.179, 
sight, okay, so may sinisilip ka, you are sighting a certain distance, and you did it thrice with the same uh, condition. Then, uh, the value of those three setups, you'll get the mean. Or, for, exa uh, for example, you have 1, 2, 3, then you divide it by 3. Then, the value, that, that would be your most probable value. Okay, or it is the summation divided by the total number. So this is your equation. So for this problem, we will solve it by uh, hand, we will solve it handwritten later. Letter B, we have the residual or we have V. So sometimes referred to as the deviation is defined as the difference between any measured value of a quantity and its most probable value. So if you have your most probable value and you have your measured value, the difference between those two values is what you call the residual. So for example, you, you have your most probable value or your MPV, like what we have here, let's say 3.15, then you have an observed value of 3.17. So 3.17 minus 3.15 is 0 0.02. Then that would be your residual, 0 0.02. V is the residual in any measurement. X is the measurement made of a particular quantity. And X bar is the most probable value of the quantity measured. Letter C, probable error, or the PE. The probable, the probable error is a quantity which, when added to and subtracted from the most probable value, defines a range so it defines a range within which there is a 50 percent chance that the true value of the measured quantity lies inside or outside the limit thus we have here probable uh, error of any single measurement p is positive negative or plus minus 0 0.6745 times the square root of the summation of v squared over n minus 1. And PE, uh, PEM, probable error of the mean, is plus minus 0 0.6745 times the, uh, the square root of the summation of v squared divided by n times n minus 1. Okay? Next, you have the relative precision or RP. Relative error, sometimes called relative precision, is expressed by fraction, having the magnitude of the error in the numerator, uh, in the numerator, and the magnitude of measured quantity in the denominator. The relative precision, RP, would be expressed as 10, a 0 0.10 over 235.50 or 1 over 2,355, or it is 1 is to 2,355. So it is the fraction of the magnitude of error, okay? And letter E, we have the weighted observation. It is usually based upon the judgment of the surveyor, the number of measurements taken for a particular quantity, and by assuming that the weights are inversely proportional to the square of the probable errors. Letter F, you have the interrelationship of errors. In some instances, it is required to determine how the final results is affected when computation involves quantities that are, uh, that are subject to accidental error. Two commonly applied principles of the theory of errors involve the summation of errors in the product of errors. So for the summation of errors, probable errors uh, of the sum is equivalent to plus minus the square root of PE1 squared plus PE2 squared until PEN squared. So that is your summation of errors. For the product of errors, it is uh, plus or minus the square root of Q1x PE2 squared plus Q2x PE1 quantity squared. And there you can have your product of errors. Okay, so for the illustrative problem, 
let us now try to solve them. So we have here problem number one. A surveying instructor sent out six groups of students to measure a distance between two points marked on the ground. The students came up with the following six different values. Okay, so that is 250.25, 250.15, 249.9, 250.25, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 250.15, 249.9, 250.15, 249.9, 
30 plus 87 zero seven forty okay so the total angle that was observed is equivalent to 360 degrees 0 um, minutes and 30 seconds now to get the discrepancy discrepancy okay so the total uh, angle the total interior angle of a point is equivalent to 360 degrees so 360 minus 360 degrees 0 minutes and 30 seconds is equivalent to uh, negative 0 degrees 0 minutes and 30 seconds okay therefore there, in a, there is an excess of 30 seconds okay so for the correction for the correction it is neg uh, negative 30 seconds so negative 30 seconds how many values were there so our observation we have one two three so we need to correct this three so negative 30 seconds divided by three is equivalent to negative 10 seconds okay so for corrected theta one corrected theta one is equivalent to 130 degrees 15 minutes and we have uh, 20 20 this is 20 seconds minus 10 uh, seconds okay and that is equivalent to 130 degrees 15 minutes and 10 seconds now for corrected theta 2 likewise the same procedure corrected theta 2 is equivalent to we have 142 degrees 37 uh, 30 seconds minus 10 seconds and that is equivalent to 142 degrees 37 minutes and 20 seconds and lastly for the corrected theta 3 that is equivalent to uh, 87 so we have 87 0, 7, 40 seconds minus 10 seconds that is equivalent to 87 degrees 7 minutes and 30 seconds if you're going to add up this corrected values it should give you 360 degrees Okay, so we have here problem number three. The following values were determined in a series of tape measurements of line. So we have six values here. 1,000.58, So letter A, the most probable value of the measured length. So what is the most probable value? So, A is simply the summation divided by the number of quantity. So, MPV is equivalent to the summation of 1,000.58 plus 1,000.40 plus 1,000.38 plus 1,000.48 plus 1,000.40 plus 1,000.46 divided by the total number of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is equivalent to 6. So we have here 1,000.58 plus 1,000.40 plus 1,000.38 plus 1,000.48 plus 1,000.4 plus 1,000.46 divided by 6. Therefore, the most probable value is equivalent to 1,045. Okay, so that is letter A. Now for letter B, we are 
to solve for the MPV. So, what is the MPV? So, uh, PES and PEM rather. So, for PEE, a uh, PES, so that is probable error of single measurement, that is plus minus 0 0.6 uh, four, uh, six, seven, 45 times the square root of the summation of v squared divided by n minus 1. Okay. Now for PEM, PEM is the probable error of the mean. So that is plus minus 0 0.6745 times the square root of the summation of v squared divided by n times n minus 1. Okay. So we need to solve for the value of uh, value of v. So from our discussion earlier, v is equivalent to the uh, the measured val measured value minus the most probable value. So this is x bar. Okay. So v1 is equivalent to 1000.58 minus 1,000.45 V2 is equivalent to 1,000.40 minus 1,000.45 Next, V3 is equivalent to 1,000.38 minus 1,000.45 V4 is equivalent to 1,000.48 again so, 1,000.48 minus 1,000.45. V5 is equivalent to 1,000.40 minus 1,000.45. Ah, no, this is 45. Okay. And V6 is equivalent to 1,000.46. Minus 1,000.45 Okay, so pag subtract na lang natin yung mga decimal Because the whole number is the same, 1,000 Okay, 0.58 Minus 0.45 That is plus 0 0.13 Next, 0.4 minus 0.45 That is negative 0 0.05 Point 0.38 minus 0.45 negative 0 0.07 this is 0 0.03 positive this is negative 0 0.05 and this is 0 0.01 positive but what we need would be the v squared so we need to uh, square this values okay okay so what is the square of 0.13 so 0.13 quantity squared kahit na positive or negative pag in square mo it will still be positive so 0.13 squared is equivalent to 0 0.0169 then you have uh, negative 0 0.05 quantity squared that is equivalent to 0 0.0025 Next, you have negative 0 0.07. So, that is 0 0.0049. Then, you have 0 0.03. 0 0.0009. Then, 0 0.05. That is 0 0.0025. Then, you have 0 0.01. That is 0 0.0001. What we need here is the square the summation of the square of these values so we get the summation 0 0.0169 plus 0 0.0025 plus 0 0.0049 plus 0 0.0009 plus 0 0.0025 plus 0 0.0001 and that is equivalent to 0 0.0278 so from here we can now solve for our PE's end PM. Okay. So PE is equivalent to plus or minus 0 0.6745 times the square root of the summation of V squared, and that is 0 0.0278 divided by 
n minus 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 minus 1. Therefore, our p is, is equivalent to 0 0.6745 times the square root uh, times the, squ the square prop, yeah, square root of 0 0.0278 divided by 5. And that is equivalent to 0 0.0503. Okay. Then, a plus or minus. Okay. Now, for PEM, we have plus 0 0.6745 times the square root of V squared, which is 0 0.0278. Divided by n, what is n? 6 times 6 minus 1. So we have here times 6. Amale. 6 times here. So PEM is equivalent to plus or minus 0 0.0205. Okay. So if we are to interpret that, this is the probable error of the single measurement. This is the probable error of the mean. Single measurement, mean. Okay. So letter C, we have here, find the expression for most probable length. So for the final expression, it can be uh, written as this way. So for the length, it is uh, the most probable value. What is the most probable value? MPV. So that is 1,000.45 plus or minus 0 0.0205. Okay? So that is also equivalent to uh, 1,000.45 minus 0 0.0205. Okay? So... It can be 1,000.43 and uh, it can also be plus. So, 1,000.47. So, if we were to interpret this, the true value, the true value may lie in between 1,000.43 and 1,000.47 and the most probable value of the distance is 1,000.45 so again there is a 50% chance that the value will lie within this range and there is also a 50% chance na wala dito sa labas ng 43 and sa labas ng 0.47 okay so letter D we have the relative precision of the measure mean. So RP is equivalent to RPS is equivalent to uh, zero PES. So that is PES divided by MPV. So what is our PES? Uh, zero point zero five zero three divided by uh, divided by what is our MPV 1000.45 and that is equivalent to 0 0.0503 divided by 1000.45 so that in decimal uh, it should be in fraction so actually we can remove naman yung 0 0.03 kasi masyado na uh, Shadow na maliit yan, okay? So, that is point meters na. 0 0.0503 meters. So, let's try. 0 0.05 divided by 1,000.45. And that is equivalent to 1 over 20009. So, that is your RPS. Now, for RPM, we have here the PEM divided by MPV and our PEM is 0 0.02 divided by 1045 so 
the fraction would be equivalent to we have here 2 over uh, 10,000 so we have 2 over 100,000 rather 0 0.45 so that is your RPM so he, uh, this one over 20,009 this is your uh, relative precision of a single measurement and this one here is the relative precision of the mean number four we have here the three sides of a triangular shaped tract of land is given by the following corresponding probable um probable errors so 162.54 plus minus 0 0.03 then B, we have 234.26 plus or minus 0 0.05. And C, we have 195.70 plus or minus 0 0.04 meters. Determine the probable error of the sum and the most probable value of the perimeter. So let us first compute for the perimeter. So for the perimeter, let's add up the values, okay, the, me the measured values. So we have 162. 162.54 plus 234.26 plus we have here 195.70 and that is equivalent to plus 234.26 plus 195.70 so that is 592.5 then we now get our probable error the sum of the probable error so PE is equivalent, PES is equivalent to plus or minus the square root of the probable error. Okay, the error of each measured distances. So it is 0 0.03 quantity squared plus 0 0.05 quantity squared plus uh, 0 0.04 quantity squared. Okay, then we get the value we have here the square root of. 0 0.03 squared plus 0 0.05 squared plus 0 0.04 squared and that is equivalent to 0 point plus minus 0 0.071 okay and that is in meters so this is the probable error of the sum of the three measurement so the perimeter would then be expressed now uh, adjusted let's say perimeter adjusted is equivalent to 592.5 plus or minus 0 0.071 meters okay so that is also equivalent to 592.5 minus 0 0.071 so that is 5.9 ano 592.43 meters and we have 592.57 meters so the true value may lie the true value of the perimeter may lie between 592.43 and 592.57 okay and uh, the most probable value is equivalent to a value that lies between these ranges. So the true value can be found within this range. We have here problem number five. The two sides of a rectangular lot were measured with certain estimated probable errors as follows. So the width is 253.36 plus or minus 0. 0.0. .0 six meters and the length is 624.15 plus or minus 0 0.08 meters so the first thing that we need to do is to solve first for the area for the for the area it is simply length times width and that is equivalent to 624.15 times 253 .36. Okay, so therefore the area is equivalent to 
1,134.644. Okay, so the probable, uh, the product of error, so PEP is equivalent to the square root of, it is plus minus the square root of 600, 624.15 times yung error no width. So that is 0 0.06 quantity squared plus W which is 253.36 times yung error naman nung length which is 0 0.08 quantity squared. Okay? Therefore, PE is equivalent to we have uh, 624.15 times 0 0.06 squared plus 253.36 times 0 0.08 quantity squared. So that is 42.58. So plus minus 42.58. So, okay. so the probable value of area is equivalent to 158,134.644 plus minus 42.58 is equivalent to so 158, 134.644 minus 42.58 so that is 158, 092.064 square meters and this time it is plus 158,177.224 square meters so the true value the, the true value will lie between these two range so from 158,000 uh, 158,092.064 to 158,177.224 square meters.